Hey guys, Joe for One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sneak review and unboxing of the Nike ISPA Universal. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of the latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown our way. And I just want to take the time and opportunity to thank the subscribers new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this. Thank you. And let's go. So today we've got a look at the Nike ISPA Universal. Some people pronounce it ISPA, but for those that don't know, this is like Nike's innovation. They're really leading guys when it comes to like new designs. And it means improvise, scavenge, protect and adapt. So there's a lot of um, sustainability that they're trying to incorporate in this, um, in this department from Nike. And it starts from everywhere. Even the box is recyclable and obviously it is. And it's made out of uh, a lot of recyclable materials. There we go. That's what I'm trying to get out. But we're looking at the sizing. So we've got these uh, Nike ISPA or ISPA. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. I say ISPA. I think we, in some previous um, videos we've pronounced it ISPA. Let us know in the comment section below. I mean, if anyone from Nike is watching, and we know that you are, correct me, you know, spell it out phonetically in the comment section. Uh, but we got these uh, Nike Ispa Universal in natural mint brown, mink brown colorway, sorry. And we got this in the UK size 8, it's European 42.5, and it's the US 9. If we were to look at it, here it is. It reminds me of a brand that does something in the foam world. I'm not going to name names, just in case I get into trouble. But I mean, you, can, you know, we'll call a dog a dog really. Um, looks like Crocs, doesn't it? This is like Nike's answer to Crocs. It's very lightweight. And this is, again, made out of foams essentially one material but we're going to get into all the details soon but we'll start with the outsole so this outsole again it is made from nike's biofoam and you can see that ispa ispa printing there you can see some traction patterning and you see the all the perforation holes there to make you know is to get some breathing into the underside of your feet as well as draining it out because i've seen these used on river vets i've seen people walking in with these to combat um walking in wet weather looking at the upper so again the midsole is made out of the same materials and it's using that biofilm and if you look around here you can see detailing so the detailing around is because the universal is made out of essentially it uses three designs of nike's previous ones and i just want to get this right so i'm going to look here it's the nike mx 270 the zoom type and the solar soft htmm it's all around you can see it. it's essentially a sandal but with all the detailing of a sneaker so here and you've got perforation you've got Big hole there as well, just for your breathing. Again, like I mentioned, perforation. You can see Nike swoosh cut there in the toe box. You look at the lateral side here. It's kind of reminds me. I can see where the 270 design is coming from. You can see very reminiscent of um, Air Max and all the little details. And it's kind of coloured in that mink brown, around very lightweight, I must say. Again, and the inner. So the insole it is a cork bed insole. It's there to help your feet ventilate and drain any moisture as well to combat that moisture. Because as I mentioned before, I've seen people use these walking on water. Well, not literally on water, walking in water. You know what I mean? Uh, but you've got the Nike ISPA in the logo there for you. And if this is Nike's way to combat another brand, I'm here for it actually, even though I do prefer the other brands. But these are really cool, uh, very different from Nike, again, from the ISPA department. Very innovative, as you can see. Really, really unique design. 
and I'm really excited to try these on. So roll that footage of me trying these universes on for you. When it comes to the fitting guys, there was no UK 7.5, that is what I usually wear for Nike. Now this is a UK size 8, it's a half size up, it feels great, but that's because I'm wearing socks. Now if I wasn't going to be wearing socks, I think I would have gone for a half size down, so a UK size 7, but I think that would be a bit too tight. With socks on, this fits, but I can feel a little bit of slippage in the heel. But other than that, these are really nice. It's very comfortable, very breathable, very lightweight. It's what you need in that kind of uh, Explorer-esque um, sandal or shoe you're looking for, or if you're looking for an alternative to another well-known EVA foam brand. Before I sign off guys, if you're wondering what trousers I'm wearing, I'm wearing a pair of Nike cargo track pants. I'm not sure if you can get these online still, but do check them out if you can. That rounds off my review and the on feet. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with the ZVVM on Instagram and on TikTok. Till next time guys, peace.